Electricity plays a fundamental role in our daily lives. It lights up our homes, powers our devices, and makes many of our daily chores more manageable. However, not all materials handle electricity in the same way. Materials can generally be classified into two main groups when it comes to their ability to conduct electricity. Conductors and insulators. Conductors are materials that allow electricity to flow through them easily. This happens because they have free electrons that can move from one atom to another, facilitating the flow of electric current. Common examples of good conductors include metals like copper, aluminum and gold. This is why many electrical wires are made of copper. It efficiently transfers electricity. Household appliances, gadgets and most electronic devices have components made of conducting materials to ensure they function properly. On the other hand, insulators are materials that resist the flow of electricity. They have tightly bound electrons that cannot move freely, making it hard for an electric current to pass through them. Rubber, glass and most plastics are examples of insulating materials. If you look at an electric cord, the inner part contains copper wires, conductors, to carry the current, while the outer layer is usually made of rubber or plastic, insulators, to prevent unintended electrical shocks or short circuits. Understanding the difference between conductors and insulators is crucial for safety. Misusing or mixing up these materials can lead to electrical hazards. For instance, Touching exposed wires can result in serious injuries if the wires are not properly insulated. When choosing materials for various applications, it's essential to consider their conductive or insulative properties. Don't forget to subscribe!